As of March 5, 2023, there are 47 volcanoes which are actively erupting across seven continents. This are the last week's top volcano-related news stories. In Iceland, it appears that the Askia volcano is in a sort of pre-eruption phase, meaning an eruption is highly likely to eventually occur due to a shallow intrusion of magma. However, whether this eruption occurs this week, next month, or sometime in the next five years is unclear. Meanwhile, in and Antarctic island territory of Australia, the Big Ben volcano erupted once again, sending a lava flow down its steep ice-covered slopes. And in Colombia, a change in vegetation was found at the Cerro Machin volcano, leading to a discovery of a patch of ground that was at an incredibly high temperature. Cerro Machin is centered 18 kilometers west-northwest of the city of Ebogu and could best be described as a small lava dome complex volcano, which is somewhat hidden by the region's topography. It has produced infrequent eruptions, with only six occurring in the last 5,000 years, the last of which occurred around the year 1100. However, as shown by Machin's 2.5 km wide and up to 500 foot deep caldera, this volcano has produced at least one exceptionally large eruption during the Holocene Epoch, during an eruption registering in as a VEI-5 which sent pyroclastic flows across the landscape up to a distance of 12 km or 7.5 miles. Due to the infrequent eruptions of this volcano, any signs of unrest are especially noteworthy. One such period of unrest has been ongoing since 2000, when the number of earthquakes underneath the volcano have increased and remained as such ever since, possibly indicating the refilling of its steep magma chamber. This process, in my opinion, is still ongoing as during the last week, a team measured patches of soil in the caldera which were as hot as 95 degrees Celsius. While this is unusual, it is not yet a cause for concern in my opinion, as a substantial increase in earthquakes which would likely be associated with any future volcanic eruption were not detected. In Iceland, many people are keeping a close eye on the large Askia volcano in the central part of the country due to a continuation of its suspicious activity. Astia has three large calderas, the last of which formed during a powerful VEI-5 eruption in 1875, with that caldera measuring 4.7 kilometers or 2.9 miles wide, and is now filled with a body of water known as Lake Askiva. Due to the location of this lake and the generally cold temperatures of the region, the lake consistently freezes over and stays frozen between the months of December to mid or late May. However, beginning around February 5th of 2023, this lake began unexpectedly thawing out much sooner than normal and was almost completely ice-free by two weeks later. More recent measurements determined that small sections of the lake are indeed receiving an influx of warm water which is unexpectedly as warm as 27 degrees Celsius or 81 degrees Fahrenheit. While the vast majority of the lake is not this temperature, it as a whole has increased to around 1 to 2 degrees Celsius on average. This warm water influx seems to be centered around the lake water contact with lava flows that the volcano produced in 1922. All of this activity seems to suggest that an eruption will eventually occur, although it might be as much as several years before one does, as a body of magma has been intruding underneath Askia at a depth of 2 kilometers since August of 2021, which has pushed up the overlying ground by as much as 51 centimeters. The nation of Australia has four active volcanoes, that is, ones which have erupted at some point during the Holocene Epoch during the last 11,650 years. This includes two volcanoes in the mainland, aka the newer Volcanics province in South Australia and Victoria, and the Kenrara volcano in Queensland. However, it also includes two distant Antarctic island volcanoes which have both erupted during the 21st century, McDonald Islands and the Big Ben volcano on Heard Island. The Big Ben volcano represents the tallest point in all of Australia as its glacier-covered edifice towers to a height of 2,745 meters or 9,006 feet. It has been near continuously erupting during the last decade, frequently sending lava flows down the collapse scar on its southwest flank. Another such episode of lava effusion began on February 21st, 2023, which, as of seven days later, produced a small lava flow patch visible from satellite. Here is a quick list of all the world's volcanoes which are currently erupting. Additionally, here are some volcanoes showing signs of unrest which are not erupting as of the recording of this video on March 4th of 2023. Thanks for watching. If you would like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, I would like to thank this channel's patrons on Patreon and channel members on YouTube.